find some strange things at sea. We've just found ourselves a boat. Tinny. <laughs> Pull the bung out. I think it's rough maybe a little kid. <laughs> oh well, if you're after a tinny, I know where one is. One owner, always been garaged. <laughs> Yeah, good cast, that's where they should be, yeah. Oh yeah, there's the Sauris to the left here. Yeah, oh, there he is. Oh, they're good fish. Good fish. Rip it into them. Straight in front there, into those Sauris. Yep, you're perfect. Now just pull it through the water, like that way, yep. And then wind the slack up. That way, then wind the slack up, yep. Oh, oh look at these fin. They're, oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh shit. We're gonna have to get um I'll keep going over there. Just um we might wind some of these gear, you know. Get this one in. Oh they're everywhere. Let them go. Oh I'm just here. Oh come on. Oh, ha, ha. Go, go, go. Just here, like to your right. Oh, ha. God, they're hard to get, aren't they? Uh, doesn't get much better than that, but. At least we're in the right area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we just had one fish busting up on his own here with the looks of it. Pano, you've just missed that, sorry. We were in a hurry to get some casts in there, but Pano just hooked up and lost him. There's fish here today, they're just scattered and moving around. We'll hopefully um, hopefully sink the hooks in one here in a minute. What are that what are those birds doing up there? fish busting up here, we're just racing up. I got two lures out so I can't go too fast, but there's a lot of fish busting up up here and a fair few birds. So fingers crossed we can get a stick bait in there in front of you and hook up. Oh, oh there they are. Just out here. Right there on the right, there's a school of souries there, just right off the bow there. Get this shit in. Look, we're marking fish on the sounder there. Let it drop a bit, okay? Marking fish down there. Yeah, you can try and um, try and let it drop. There's definitely fish here. Oh, yep, out the right here. Oh, 
Yeah. Left here. Fast. Yeah, if you can get out there. Fuck. Yeah, hang on, I'll just come round for you. Yeah. No, it's alright, I'll come round. School of Souries, see the Souries? Rip one in there somewhere. Yeah, have a rip in there. Oh yeah, you're on the Souries. The Souries are boiled up here, right? Eh? Oh, it's over there. Oh yeah, oh, he's on. I'm going over. Yeah, go over. Oh. Still on? Yeah. Yeah, we're on now. Oh, f we might have to chase this fish, eh? Yeah. I've only got 300 metres of line. Don't double hook up then. Watch that line wind it in. We better go for this fish, eh? Yeah. Get after him, get after him. How much line you got? Yeah, I've got a bit, but... Wait, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Just go easy, just go easy. Oh, look at him busting up over it. Oh, let's just focus on getting one. Can I have the gimbal belt? Just not the harness, just the belt. Oh, how good. Well, it's been a long time coming, this one. Hopefully it's a stonker. Well, it's been a long time coming. Plenty of casts at these fish, as you guys saw. We found a good school busting up. First cast in, straight up, bang on. This is my first yellowfin on a stick bait. Got my trusty old 10-year-old Saragossa. So I caught all sorts of fish. Dogtooth tuna, Spanish mackerel, wahoo. Other yellowfin. But never on a stick bait. Just stick forward for me there, Pano. So, hopefully, yeah, keep going. Right hand down. Hopefully we can get this fish in the boat. I haven't been on the rod for a while. Yeah. Normally I'm the one driving the boat, but when we casted stick baits, I couldn't help myself. Oh. You can get a gaff out ready yeah, if you want. Yeah. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> yeah, the old back likes it. Fuck, hopefully we get another few this afternoon. <laughs> um, he's pretty right there. Look, keep that weight on him. Just that's a nice angle. Keep him coming up. Yeah, he's coming. No, oh, I don't know. It's hard to say, hey. Oh, yeah, I can see him down there. He looks good. From here. Yeah, he's got sickles. Yeah. In the head, yep. But don't hit the line or the lure. He'll probably have one good run left in when he gets close to the boat, eh? Oh, he's a proper one, eh? Your gas up the top too. Yeah, when he comes around this time, wait for him. Oh, he's only just fing hooked. Really? Yeah. Oh. And there he goes, just like that. Look at him down there, swimming off. Let's go get another one. 
We're on to another one after we lost that other fish. Pretty light tackle here. It's 80 pound braid, but it's only a stellar 10,000. I changed your lure, I reckon he's had three casts since he changed your lure and bang, we're on. So remember to change it up and try and match the hatch. It's light tackle. Here we go. There we go. That's four hookups we've had. And uh, you seen that fish come boat side earlier. I seen it. I don't know if you can hear it because this camera actually ran out of battery. My sound camera. But uh, on the head mount, uh, you will see that the fish. I actually mentioned that that fish isn't hooked really well. And as he was coming around, probably only had another 180 degrees to come around before a gaff shot would have been possible. And the lure just popped straight out of his mouth. There's nothing worse than that letting go feeling as an angler. It's a, a gut wrenching just heart sinking feeling that nobody likes but fingers crossed we can redeem ourselves on this fish Pano's having a ball over here on spin and I'm glad it's not me yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad I'm not on the rod for this one <laughs> Straight to the boat, and it was a good fish. My fish would have been, it would have been over 40 kilos, put it that way. Uh. Oh yeah, he's up, he's up on the top now. Right, are you ready to go back after him? Yeah. Keep tight on him. I think I can see him. Enough? Yeah, I just seen a flicker in the water. The fish has come up to the surface, we're just gonna charge back after him. Tell me, tell me if you... Yeah, you're up. Make some easy meters there. Easy meters. We'll just sit there and see what he does. He's just doing his big tuna circles. Uh. This fish is just dumping this spool again. Got a little bit of angle there. Hopefully he sticks with that and we can get him up. Just keep the pressure on him nice and even. <laughs> oh, has fish busting up over here about 200 meters. Yeah. I'll just tick over there and cast into him. <laughs> no, no, we'll get this fish. It's gotta be just out there, eh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you got plenty of line back. <laughs> there he is, just there. Right? Got, co there. got color? Yeah. Oh no, he's a color. Just there. Don't give him too much hurt, just inch him up, inch at a time. Yeah, I'm marking him at 15, 10. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, we finally got some colour on this thing. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. Alright, stand up. No, he's right, he's right. He's just, just doing his tuna circling. <laughs> now, the tense moment. Just like before, a lot of fish are lost at this point. What do you want me to do? Watch the line on the boat, just get the rod right out there. There's no wind, so I can't use the wind to assist us fight this fish. So whatever this fish is doing, it's just pulling the boat around. 
So it's all about the driving at the moment. And poor old Pano on that rod after an hour and 10 with no, uh, no harness. He's doing a fantastic job, I tell you. Doing his typical circles there, he's only about 20 metres down. Can you see him still? Uh, 10, 15. Where's that line? He's got us in a good holding pattern. That's better, that's good angle there. There he is on the top over there on the other side of that wash. Yep. Yeah. Okay, wine and tear that pressure on him. Oh, this is where the heart goes. Racing. There he is. He's got some alright sickles on him by the looks. The fish is certainly tired, that's for sure. Nathan's tired. I'm tired of watching. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Nathan wants his sashimi. He might be foul hooked. Really? That might be why he's fight fighting so well. Possibility, that's for sure. He looks crook. What do you need me to do? Uh, maybe back off it. Yeah. yeah. He's still got some go. Look at him. He's still uh, moving. Yeah. Oh, uh, I want to get a good look at him. Still good, same like that. Hey? You just right yeah, yeah, he'll you'll just keep circling him up. That's just what they generally do. It's painful because you've got to drive the boat around with them and try and keep the pressure on them. As tempting as it is to put the drag up now and just inch him towards the boat, we've worked so hard for this fish all day, we're really just going to play it out. and Hopefully all our gear just holds and we can get the job done. He's just laying out there, I can see him laying out there just under the surface. Hopefully get a gaff in him in a second and get him over the boat side. Deep. Watch him on the side of the boat. He'll just come around again if you can lift him. Lift him and bring him around again. It's a good fish. Yeah, got him. <laughs> He's a good one. Yeah, get that up a gaff. We'll lift him in together. Ready? Oh yeah, he's a good fish. <laughs> yep. Well done. Got to him. Oh. Finally. Tough that's it. Have a look at that. We'll get him out in the light and he's gotta be 50, doesn't he? Look at that bait just wedged in his gill plate. Corner of the oh no bottom of the jaw hook up that one That's was in good, there it's pulled uh, out pulled out of there all right let's get him into photo That's position sick. Oh, off, the, fuck off the top <laughs> sorry about the lighting guys a bit hard in this boat sometimes to get the light right but that is a good solid have to be it's have to be 50 it's got to be 50 kilos of fish there you reckon big fish yeah. 
We've got a short length on him and have a look at him later, but we might even weigh him yet. All right, get some photos. That's better for the lighting there, guys. Geez, they got some great colours. <laughs> How good. Yeah, that's sick. be right because I'll stay on the top if he has a crack at it. Oh Marlin! This big stripe Marlin. Oh. oh he's chasing them sauries. No way this is out of town. Oh, right on his back. Watch it real. Not interested in the stick bait. Hey? Not interested in a stick bait, is he? <laughs> Solid striped marlin. What's that? Well, the water is fuck nearly 20 degrees. <sighs> no way. Get out. This has been a crazy day. Well guys, it's, what is it, the end of July, and we just had a marlin, a big striped marlin, with well over 100 kilos, that fish. Uh, chasing souries next to yellowfin busting up, like, you just don't hear this stuff, it's amazing. Today's just been absolutely sensational, it's what fishing dreams are made of. Dead calm conditions, as you can see, we've been chasing bait ball, or souri ball after souri ball, with yellowfin busting up. We've had four hookups, two boat side and one, one real good fish landed there that Nathan got. We're gonna cruise up the shelf. So, excuse the sunnies. I'm gonna cruise up the shelf and uh, we're just gonna keep an eye out for any more activity along the way and uh, make our way in if we don't see anything. We're not gonna worry about trolling. We're just gonna, uh, if we see anything, we'll cast a stick bait at it. See how we go.